So today we're going to be fixing bug number 1196, Fireflower Fireballs Bounce Off of Tails Bot. So first we need to set up our test environment so we can reproduce this easily. Uh, you could make your own map and put a fire flower in it, but I'd rather we do this through code. Usually my go-to is to go to puser.c and just look for pmovePlayer. Fun little trivia piece, this function actually exists in the original Doom as well. And you can just do something as easy as if level time equals 5. And we're going to spawn and we'll just spawn a fire flower right at the position of the player. So let's go ahead and test it. We'll go in here just to make sure our debug folder is set up properly. Okay, this time we're going to start the game with Sonic and Tails. And right there, we were able to reproduce the bug very easily. So we just have to find out what projectiles are doing when they encounter different types of things. A good way to check for that is PIT check thing. check here. Actually, let's look at Fireflower's properties first. See how it's defined. It's going to be an in info.c. And we see it just has a special flag. It's not considered like a, a missile. It's a little bit different than that. Make sure there's no other special interaction code here. So just for kicks, you see there's a condition here for player bot. Let's go ahead and just take that out and see what happens. <laughs> now the bot can pick up <laughs> the power up. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But it doesn't have any effect on whether um, it bounces off or not. And that makes sense because p enter.c here for p touch special thing, that's for item pickups. So effectively this this right here is preventing the bot from picking up the fire flower. Let's see if we can find what the projectile is for b fire fireball. Yeah, sorry. So fire flower is the pickup fireball is the actual missile itself and it is flagged as an mf missile. So let's go ahead and search for fireball. right here under PIT do check things there actually is a specific um, carve out for it in the in the function we were originally looking at so if the thing is an enemy See, now Tails is technically a player, but you can check to see if it's a bot by looking here, player bot. I don't think this is going to do what we want, but let's go ahead and run it anyway. Yep. Because the code doesn't even get to this point where it wants to do the kill operation. Let's go ahead and remove that. See what else we can find. So going back to the fireball itself, we notice it has an MF bounce. So perhaps any items should not bounce against 
It could be that anything with the NF bounce flag will actually bounce off the bot. That this isn't unique to the fireballs at all. So let's go back to the collision code here and see what we can find. I think we're going to look at this P try move. That's when an object, a thing, tries to move to a new position and tests whether that's blocked or if there's nothing in the way. So that has to do with going through an opening. So let's go ahead and trace through this. Or step through this, rather. Thing type. So we're going to set a breakpoint here. Let's see what happens. There we go. So first is checking to see if the opening is big enough in the sector. Second is it checks all of the um, fake floors. And then it checks the poly objects. And then finally we're going to check the things right here. Yep, that's our fire flower. And now it's going through all the things in nearby collision area see if it encountered hitting any other objects. Let's go ahead and put a breakpoint here. We changed some code, so let's go ahead and just start over. Get rid of the one that's here keep track so we don't have accidentally um, send back debug messages. All right, now this should only break whenever the fireball collides with the bot. Yep, right there. So let's see how this gets processed. Okay, so it's not close enough to collide with the bot yet. It's just in the vicinity where they share the block map. So let's move this breakpoint down a little bit. Past this check. So we can get, you know, things are a lot closer at the, down here. So now if we look at the calculated block dist, so right here we've got missiles can hit other things. Didn't go over or under. Thing. Player. So this is the fireball colliding with the bot. So I think our piece that we want is right here, where you don't hit the same species as the originator of a missile. If it's also a bot, we want to we want to ignore it as well. Or thing player and thing player. Bot. Make sure you put these in parentheses so that the Boolean logic evaluates correctly. So if we do that, all of the missiles should avoid the bot player. Remove our breakpoint. Goes right through him. Let's make sure that doesn't impact him in other ways, though. Like, for example, can he still get hit? Yep, he still can.
but that might be t not be totally correct because we still want him to get hit by enemy fire. And it's probably the case that if we do this, no, he still does get hit. Okay, great. And this ends up not affecting enemy fire because the target on a fireball is the person that shot the fireball. So the target type is player and the thing type the one that it collided with is. And this comment here is actually wrong. That's not what this if statement does. Instead of don't hit same species as originator, it's don't hit yourself. That's probably a better description. All right, let's make sure that we removed our debug code. So over in PUser, we added spawning a fire flower. Remove that. We can check our changes here to see if we have anything else. See right here, we've got something on line 898. with unmodified again and there you go that's really we just had to change one line here to be able to fix this bug we'll go ahead and we'll create a new branch and we will call it the same name as the issue so 1196 Missiles fired by a player will not hit bots. Commit. Push it up. And we pushed. Next up, we'll go back to GitLab. We've got our pushed issue right here. And we will go ahead and create the merge request. And the merge request and it, there we go now it's waiting for approval well i hope you learned something or just found this interesting i hope that by doing these videos i can encourage you to learn how to code and also demystify some of it uh, fixing bugs can sometimes be a lot more instructional than doing a hello world so if there's anything you'd like to see me cover you know please drop your thoughts in the comments later <laughs>